uh, the Google Pixel 7 Pro. Oh, I already have a bug. Guys, live here. Here we go here. I already have a bug. Uh, Google Fi isn't responding. Wait. Look guys, I just got my Pixel 8 Pro in the mail today and we're gonna do a little different of a video where we go ahead, unbox the device. I wanna talk a little bit about some of what my expectations are uh, regarding it and whoa, <laughs> that is very nice. Um, okay, so the back of this device is a satin finish and this thing is very, oh, when, I really, really like the blue. Hopefully you guys can go ahead and get a close up of it. This blue is absolutely killer. I mean, I think that this blue, let's see if we get a little closer even on that. This blue is absolutely fantastic. I really like this polished blue and I really think that it's just a, a really, really nice overall look and feel uh, as always in the box of any pixel. Right, you're gonna have the standard white USB-C to USB-C cable. And let's get this first. First premium Pixel phone with a flat display. Wow, okay. First impressions, this thing is really nice in the hand overall. I really like the overall form factor of it. And I gotta say that this fa uh, flat form factor, um, it, it feels just as premium as my Pixel 7 Pro did. But to be honest, one thing that I absolutely love about using the Pixel 7a recently is that it has a flat display. Uh, this device is actually a bit thinner in hand feeling than the Pixel 7a, which is a bit of a chunker. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and power this on. And while we're doing that, one of the things that I was looking to see upgraded in the Pixel 8 is connectivity bugs being just kind of sorted out overall. Um, when I got my Pixel 6, I was coming from a Samsung Galaxy device that had a Snapdragon SoC, and the performance of that device was absolutely fantastic. Uh, switching to that first generation Google SoC, connectivity was definitely inferior, um, and that's something I talked about uh, when I first got the device. Basically, if you have a Pixel, it does this whole setup process for you totally wirelessly. Um, like I was saying, I was hoping to get some improvements with connectivity. Uh, one of the things that I lamented with before was the fact that on Wi-Fi, all of my pixels have gotten significantly better battery life than when on 4G. Um, 5G is significantly worse than that even. Um, and I would like to see, you know, uh, I understand that a drop in battery performance when on an LTE modem is expected compared to Wi-Fi, but on pixels, it's been a really big hit. Uh, you see that even with overnight standby battery drain. I have my device set to uh, airplane mode with battery saver on and I have Wi-Fi only on and overnight I'm losing like 8 to 10 percent sometimes. The haptics of this device are fantastic. What do you guys think, by the way, of this new dual camera setup that I got going on here? So the next thing that I'm really happy to see getting addressed and curious to see Google's implementation uh, is their faster charging than what they had on Google Pixel 7 series. Uh, the Google Pixel 7 Pro. Oh, I already have a bug. Guys, live here. Here we go here. I already have a bug. Uh, Google Fi isn't responding. Wait, okay. We're cool right now. Yes, move number. Okay, bug. The next thing that I want to see addressed with the Pixel line of devices overall is charging. And it's something that I'm really interested the reason specifically why I'm interested to see that is because 
when my Pixel 7a was updated with Android 14, I noticed somewhat of a difference in the overall charging speed, even though it was still utilizing 18 watt fast charging. Uh, Google is really, really conservative overall with their charging curve with their devices. They've said they've now implemented uh, 30 watt charging um, or actually possibly the, up to 27 watt. We know that the Pixel 7 Pro, the last device I had was 24 watts. If you used my favorite charger and I'll probably do a video about that charger. Now that the device is getting kind of more set up, I do have it on a fast charger right now. So this would be whatever the maximum charging speed is. And it is toasty, um, not uncomfortably hot, but it is up to 68%. And for sure, Google is throttling the charging speed. Well, Google, what's up, the, what's up with this? Why do I have Fitbit installed automatically? I, I'm not down with that, guys. I do, like, to me, Fitbit with haptics on this. The haptics feel really nice. The buttons on the side are really nice and tactile. They really feel awesome and clicky. Uh, you know, Face ID so far has actually been really good in my studio, even though it's at nighttime. Uh, I haven't had any time to use the camera yet, obviously, but we do have an update that's available for it. And, you know, coming from the Pixel 7 Pro uh, and now the Pixel 7a, I like Pixel devices in general because they feel smarter. They feel like a smarter smartphone than a Sam I like Pixel devices in general because they feel smarter. They feel like a smarter smartphone than a Samsung device. Uh, I have a Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Plus, right? And me and my wife use it and we share it back and forth. So I have quite a bit of experience using other flavors of Android. In the past, I used a bunch of Xiaomi phones. And I, I prefer the features that I get with Pixel devices. So here it is, Pixel 8 Pro. It's getting set up now. I am pretty stoked on the overall kind of build aesthetic and I feel the build quality of this is nice. Uh, kind of squeezing them side by side. As you guys can see with the Pixel 7 Pro, this definitely feels more premium as it should. Uh, it's a much more expensive phone than this. It is gonna be interesting though to have these devices maybe export a CapCut project together, something like that. Uh, if you guys want to see a video comparing just the overall performance of Tensor 2 versus Tensor Generation 3, go ahead and give me a comment in the comment section down below. Uh, and if you guys want to see other kind of like performance stuff or maybe battery drain tests are kind of pointless depending upon what you're using your device on, um, maybe we could do something like a charging test, like a 10 to 80% because Google likes to throw all their devices at the end of the charging. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up here and I'm going to get you guys back tomorrow with another video, but man, does this ever feel like a sophisticated Android device? And I love this blue. I love this blue guys. Catch you guys tomorrow. Bye.